hey guys in today's video we are going to see how do you block an incoming call on the call manager using lua script so if you have watched our previous videos in a couple of videos we have shown like how do you block incoming calls on the voice gateway using translation rule and translation profile and this only works if in case if you are using h 3 or a sip gateway but if in case if you are using mgcp gateway you cannot block the calls on the gateway you have to block it on the call manager so uh, again uh, in our last video we have also seen how do you block an incoming call on the call manager using the feature called route next hop by calling party number and no matter what protocol you are using on the gateway side whether mgcp it is three or a SIP gateway it works pretty well for everything now in uh, this this video what we are going to do is we are going to use a lua script and you know apply this lua script on the trunk level and try to block the calls on the trunk itself when the call comes to the call manager so this is our scenario so we have uh, we want to block the call coming from 50001 and 50002 to 10002 here so whenever these guys are calling we want the calls to be blocked at this moment so if you notice right now i have a cipc which is uh, registered somewhere in the public network let's say and i have a phone here which is 10002 registered on my call manager so if i try to call uh, from 50001 to 10002 the call should proceed right now i'll just quick do a quick demo so I made a call to 10003 sorry 10002 and the call came let me try from 50002 and see if the call goes to uh, 10002 or not. I made another call and the call came. I let me disconnect the call and let me also test it from 50003 as well. So I was able to, you know, uh, call from 50001. 2 and 3 to 10,002. So now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to, you know, uh, use the Lua script to block the call. Here is my Lua script that I'm going to use. Here I'm going to match, uh, uh, here I'm going to apply some configuration M and then I'm looking for an inbound invite message and where I'm looking for, uh, you know, uh, the header from field. And in the from field, I'm trying to match 50,001 which we wanted to block and then I'm modifying the header expires to zero so if you know by default we have 3600 seconds as an expiry for any call that's the default value um, but I'm expiring it immediately like in zero seconds so that the call does not reach to the 10,002 um, extension and I'm ending this parameter here so let's see how this works so what I'll do is I'll copy this Lua script and then I'll go to this device, device setting, and then I'll come here in the SIP normalization script. So in SIP normalization script, I'm going to click on add new. I'll paste the content here. Okay. And then I'm, co I'm going to make the name as call block Lua. And then a description, you can put it anything. So I'm not going to uh, you know, um, um, modify any of this parameter. I'm going to click on save. So as soon as you save this, you have to make sure that you call this Lua script on your trunk level. I go to the trunk, go to my trunk from where I'm getting the inbound calls. I'll come down here at the bottom and I'll call the Lua script, which I just created. Call block Lua and save this configuration. Okay. And reset reset okay so now what i'll do is i'll quickly test from 50001 to 10002 and see if the calls are coming through or not so you see here i made the call it says unknown number right? it is connected to the call now if i try to dial from 50002 the call should come through from 50,002 but not from 50,001 because 50,001 we are blocking the call on the Lua script. Now in order to modify this, um, uh, let's say if you want to modify 50,002 uh, as well, right? I'll go to the same script, 
call block Lua and then what I'll do is I'll copy this string here and copy this entire line and insert it here and just put it else if okay I'll put else if from and then here I'm going to modify is 50,002 save this let's see just after saving this will we be able to block the call or not because uh, you might have to reset the trunk in order to make this uh, you know effect make this take this in effect right so let's try making a call and see from 50,000 call came here so which means until unless you reset this uh, trunk or reset this Lua script it is not going to take effect I just did a reset so let's see now so if you see from 50,002 the call is blocked. See from 50,001 the call was blocked. Now, if we try dialing from 50,003, the call should not get blocked. So I was able to answer, answer the, call the call from, from 50,003. So, which means in case if you want to block any of these calls, right, using the more uh, using this Lua script, you can modify the header header uh, expires to zero second and keep on adding uh, the numbers like uh, one after another. I'll put another one as like this. Maybe if I want to block for 50,003, I'll put it as 50,003. Save and then reset. Note that when you reset this, right, your trunk will reset and existing calls may drop. So be careful when you are uh, using the Lua script. Uh, you do this modification outside of your business hours when there is no call. Otherwise, your existing calls will drop. Right? I'll try it now. If you see, I'm getting a unknown um, number so this is how you uh, you know uh, modify the lua script and block the call i hope uh, you like this video thank you for watching